Hello, chat. It's good to be back. <laughs> good to be back. But this time, we're playing Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Maybe nothing bad will happen. Hopefully not. Let us get started with Metroid Prime 2. I'm very excited to try out this game. Just hope everything goes swell. Hang on, I just have to check this score for one moment. Let's just get started then. <laughs> I don't even know what this menu system is. <laughs> well, looks like there is no option. I guess we'll just start single player then. <laughs> Hang on, uh, it's just uh, something on Discord. <laughs>
There we go. Uh. <laughs> drop um different ship from before Everything still plays like Metroid Prime 2. Yeah, let me see if this helps here. <laughs> I don't. Uh, how do I fix that? Oh yeah. Let me see if this helps. Sort of. Sort of does. Ah, now this type of scan is way better. Right, the Samus of Ren, your ship has been damaged. Auto repair function initiate. You can return to your ship to recharge energy. In the game. Fluids may be used by indigenous bioforms for digestive purposes. Shell is vulnerable to weapon fire. Now this kind of skin is way better. How's the menu like? Why is the menu like this? Pretty weird. <laughs> oh, fuck me. It's kind of being slow right now. <laughs> Maybe this will help. Better. Oops, wait off.
a lot of scans. Oh, this scan is way better. <laughs> Compared to the first game. You can't handle all the stuff that's going on. Well, I hope it can. <laughs> I hope it can. How does how does Samus's scan even know what what it means? Casualty report, sector A, three troopers lost. Well, time for the map to bug out. game runs a lot better when we're off stream what was I gonna Worker Splinter. Monka. Terminated bioform. Difficult to determine. Fear at time of death. Yeah, this is a, it's a second game. Metroid Prime 2 decided to take a much more darker turn.
It's alright. It's alright, Retro. New lore entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Galactic Federation Marine Corps personal log entry G5GTC Beneath. Hello. Schnitzler. I'm kind of running pretty slow. <laughs> The stuttering. Yeah, I don't know how to fix the stuttering in the game. Yeah, the it runs much better. Runs a bit better without the <laughs> without the stream going on in the background. Enable uh, Uber shaders and May have to restart it. Let me see. See if it works. That's all right. <laughs> As long as it makes me more enjoyable. So I should probably exit out, restart it. Hopefully, it makes it run better or can play it better. Well, let's just see if it does.
I've never tried that before. <laughs> You got a wave bird controller. Oh, isn't it that wireless controller? Oh, yeah, it is. I just Google searched it real quick. I also have one too, but kind of doesn't work. Doesn't work good. <laughs> Sort of made the game. Sort of does run a bit better now, I can tell. Oh, you guys still have a picture. Thanks for letting me know. Still. Just moving around just to see if it works good. I didn't realize it. I'm just messing around. I mean, hey, if uh, there's ever a trilogy version, I'll probably play the game again. Probably should have messed around with the messed around with the settings, you know. I mean, like on the whatever it will if it ever releases on the Nintendo Switch, probably play one, one and two again.
Evans suggests these bioforms were eliminated. Close combat put an armed troop by unarmed troopers. Monk a W. <laughs> Feels good, man. Oh boy. Well, the game stuttered. <laughs> the game stuttered there a bit. Maybe it's just this one area. PC. <laughs> hey, Toby. Thanks so much for the host, Toby. Always appreciate it. Tell you what. What brand was it? If I remember correctly, the It was a... Yeah, it was a Dell and Spirion laptop. Oh yeah, I, I doubt that's going to happen. <laughs> I doubt that's going to happen until we <laughs> Markiplier saying, yo, what's up?
Who can that be? What is this? Yeah, I think it was just that one area. <laughs> Might have been that one area where the game wasn't running good. <laughs> In yes, it does. Looks pretty much the same. Just like any Metroid game, you lose all your stuff. I guess it was just that one area. Yeah, map still has the same issue. For save station. Oh, we're gonna be right back, Toby. Well, if it is, I hope you have a good night. <laughs> Well if, you, well, if you aren't going to come back, well, I hope you have a good night. Yeah, seems like a... I was just looking at my saves. Right. 
I wonder... I wonder how many people left because of the... <laughs> how the game was playing early when I first started. All being... all stuttering, glitching... Looks like it's starting to run a bit better now. Yeah, chat, that's the only issue with the emulator. I don't have a very... Like a high-end PC. Let me see if this helps. Maybe I should have. <laughs> Maybe I should have just tested it instead of just started the game. I know. I get excited. I just wanna. I just wanna start the stream, the broadcast. No, they're dead.
I think Kaylee's losing. He talks to himself all the time and he won't sleep. He almost shot me on watch the other night, I think. He thought I was one of those things. I talked to the doc about taking him off the line and he told me we need all the help we can get. That's true. But if he goes berserk and kills a bunch of us, that would be very helpful. Huh. I don't like this plan. This hive is a small portion of a larger network. Maybe dozens of hive systems like this across the planet, and they all be like destroying this one may buy this time. Also may provoke the other hives into attacking. Oh, I even read some of them. Bro, what is this? Like <laughs> What is this menu system? Locking us out until someone came along to let us in. If that happens again, we're playing bait for those things. Well, at least we'll go out fighting instead of hiding in the, uh, the control area. Predators? What was that? Dimensional shifting really? From harnessing energy and opening warp portals? Whoa, that sounds like a cool ability. Darklings? can see his dead face. What well, was glowing eyes to be exact? <laughs> hey, game sort of runs better. Well, I don't know if you're still in the chat. <laughs> oh, thanks so much for the. Thanks so much for this. Thanks so much for the help. Uh, to help it run a bit better.
Yeah, I did. <laughs> Yeah, I did, Robo. Pretty well, not not like perfect though. Power bomb. Oh, I see that take away more ball. <laughs> yeah, the only thing that doesn't run too good is the. <laughs> Whenever I open up the map, it goes like this. And. Does that because. Runs pretty slow. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I just finished it. I just finished it yesterday. Metro, the first one. becomes a little more noticeable when I'm <laughs> doing a starting the stream our stand here the engineer tells me there's no way we'll get to get the ship's engines online and at Atmospheric interface is scrambling. Our distress beacon, if anyone means this, know what we did. Know that we did our duty and fought well. Everything. <laughs> Didn't lag when I fought them, these guys.
automated defense system. Lightly armored gun used for point defense. Fast targets can evade its tracking system. Oh yeah, I won't be playing... Uh, I won't be playing 3 because I already played it like... <laughs> Like a year ago? Huh, I didn't even realize I... I played Metroid Prime 3, like... Last year, around the... Around the same time. As I was playing the first game and this game. Well, <laughs> that's like the thing that was before I didn't know about know about emulation, and plus I have the I have the game. I cannot outshoot half the men here, and I'm stuck on monitor duty. I enjoy not to stare at the hollow screen at This is what happened to Samus Aran. She'd be out there taking care of business, not pushing buttons and sending reports. Perfect sense. So I was able to play <laughs> three and good. I was able to play three or able to play three pretty because <laughs> I'm stumbling over my words without any issue. Like the game stuttering. That top notch quality. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Very pleasing to hear. Um. Oh my. There we go, that's better.
wouldn't be surprised if <laughs> some of you guys sleep because of the how the game's running. So, whenever there's like those really starts to stutter badly, I Research entry has been added to download to your logbook, Starship GFS, Galactic Federation ship, Tyronor class patrol ship used to transport Galactic Federation Marines vessel has sustained heavy combat damage. Those splinters remind me of some killer bug he saw on another planet once. All I know is things are fast and take a lot to drop. Pretty soon we'll have to go to bayonets everyone. Everyone's low on ammo, even Broad needs the stingiest grunt I know. Milligan? Bro lost the bet, so he switched watch duty with me. I figured this section is nice and safe and boring, which suits me. Just fine. Let those other pugs guard the hot zone. Hey, wait, no. Halt! No! End transmission. Personal log entry, PF says. I hear them everywhere. Every they're coming, can't sleep ever. They'll eat me. Man, I ho hope that this is the only one breeding ground for those. There's more, we're in big trouble. We had a hard enough time taking that one out of the commission. I almost ran out of ammo. Never, never run out of ammo. Wait, who's this? Broad? Yeah. Dark Splinter, Darkling Possessed, Insectoid Predator, and Symbiote within the Splinter's augmented strength and durability threat level raise. Well then. I'm beginning to think it was a real bad idea going down there. Reeves is right, the hive is just one of many. Stupid to stir a hornet's nest. Especially if you plan on sleeping under it. 
they all died to a bunch of splinters. Like Gunner. Pretty big place. Pretty big place. Yes, chat, I have to scan ever. <laughs> I have to scan ever. Last night at Chow, Aang said starts talking about some bounty hunter and how she blew up a planet full of space pirates. Sorry I didn't believe in fairy tales like that and she took it personally. I just find it just find it hard to lead that one person to count entire space pirate base. And that's all. If she wants to believe in this Samus or Bigfoot or Santa Claus, she can. <gasps> Santa Claus and Bigfoot? Wish this way bring me. Power bomb me destroy it. <laughs> Oh, 
already have 11% scans. Arrow Hunter, Airborne and Psych equipped with Venomous Stinger capable of shearing steel. Target can fire blast on energy FOs. If it battles, foes are real bursts. Another research. Morph ball. Miscellaneous. This system. Yeah, I'm just reading. <laughs> different kinds of doors. Creatures, dark ether, darkling. Aether, Mechanoid, Stationary, Growler. There we go. <laughs> that was a lot of reading. <laughs>
considerable amount of sleep after a long hunt. They weave a protective hide from organic fluids, they secrete themselves, then crawl into the rest. How do they even fit in there? Pretty much just invisible in the back. Decided to change the missile to look like that and just whenever you shoot the missile <laughs> instead of the other way. <laughs> Where it's just like a big open flap. Actually looks better. Can't it just shoot another missile? Hang on. What do I do here? Um... It's getting pretty spoopy. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's so hidden. <laughs> Feels good, man. <laughs> 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 
Well, looks like everything's running pretty good. Albeit with some issues. <laughs> yeah, with some issues, the street the game is having. Shut up. Wow, they are really just hiding the... They're just really hiding the items. These are the... I don't even realize. All of these are Luminoth... Luminoth hibernating. I didn't even mean to step in there. Alpha Splinter Ramming attacks to defeat its foes Whoa, he actually looks pretty cool 
probably tell these guys inspiration. Probably it was from Grasshopper. See if this helps. Running pretty slow. Alpha male darkling war pack, gigantic predator with Simbi icon. Durability, make them even greater threat than normal. Well then. Um <sighs> Unknown technology. This is actually really cool. These are actually Luminoth hibernating. It seems to me like it just doesn't work good. It kind of slows down whenever you're scanning or opening up a big map. You know, regulators, planetary energy is a system and is linked to a global energy network.
Senator of the Luminar, please listen to hear of our world's peril. Long ago, a cosmic object fell to our Earth. Aether displaying with great force, a rift was torn in time and space, and a strange power flowed over the world. Where once there was one Aether, there were now two, one of light and one of shadow, each existing in its own dimension. It was the end of peace on Aether, for a new race was born now. They on the dark world, one filled with hate and terrible power. They are the Ing. Shadow and presence, shadow and darkness, knowing nothing of peace or mercy. We stood against them. Here we now lie and on the verge of defeat. Dark Aether was born, our planetary energy was divided, half for our world and half for theirs. Should one world gain control of this energy, the other will perish. Before you arrive, the Aang had stolen the device from us. One that collects planetary energy. With it, they have weakened our planet to the verge of collapse. The fortune smiled upon us this day, for the energy transfer module is now bound to you. With it, you can help us, help us restore our world. You're our only hope, Samus. Should we fall, the Ingo look to the stars for new planets to ravage and conquer. Your species could be their next victims. Ing have taken our energy to three temples on Dark Aether. Find these temples and transfer the energy from them to our own. I'm Simpson with the location of another temple. There is knowledge there that can help you on your way. Violet holograms? Many lands are now open to you. We know, now know you're possessed energy potential. They will try to recover all at all costs. Turn to me once you have restored the energy to a temple. I will aid you as I can. May the light of Aether shine upon you. Any research? Luminol Fumos, indigenous sentient species of planet Aether, subject is Eumos, a sentinel of the guardian of Subject is Eumos, a sentinel of the Luminol scans indicate numerous beneficial abilities include heightening reflexes, durability, psychonautics and flight, ability to generate and manipulate energy on part of that of the Chozo. Dating scan suggests an age of 2.15 census cycles. Maybe in uh, 
maybe in four we'll be able to see the Chozo. Maybe? <laughs> Who knows what they'll do in four? The mouth translated data transfer to your logbook. Not born of Aether, but of the stars. In the other days, we roam the greatness of the void, bathing in the glorious light of thousand stars. We met a vast number of enlightened minds. Kren, the Yila, and the Chozo among them? Each of them found had acclaimed the homeworld and formed a deep bond with it. In time, we decided to do the same. Oh! Maybe we'll see them in Metroid Prime 4. <laughs> Did everyone in the everyone in the chat leave? Because <laughs> of the the game stuttering. Flying drone, once loyal to the mouth, will now fire a burst of energy at any living things. Somewhat easy target. Hmm, that's pretty easy.
Here you tank look a bit cooler, nicer in the first game. Let me see if this helps. Isn't it? <laughs> well, then. Now, let me try. There we go. Is there anything else I can do? Like, is there anything else I can do <laughs> to make it better? <laughs> uh, I don't know if there is anything else I can do to make it better. Much better. <laughs> oh wait, never mind. Only occasionally. Yikes. I'm just messing around with this setting just to see if it, anything helps. Yeah, it just makes things worse.
damn it. Literally, everything just doesn't... <laughs> just doesn't work properly. It's alright. I mean, as long as I get played this game. Decent rogue machines join the ranks of the horde. All you to bring the death to the Luminoth. Things sent the new additional new additions to the industrial site to do battle with me. While they watch from safely, cowardly mongrels. My only regret in death is that I do not live to see the day of their defeat. May it come soon. I'm already at 23% for lore. Search for a home took us through the cosmos. For many, great cycle we roam. In a place to call our own eluded us in time, we began to despair, feeling the search was in vain. We considered dreaming among the stars until a scout returned with news of a world unlike any other. When we beheld Aether for the first time, so great was her beauty that we forsook the stars forever we live on her surface from that day forth the month were of aether our blessed paradise <laughs> pretty interesting Pretty interesting. Sand Digger. Desert based tunneling bioform, extremely well armored. 
Trick exposed size to damage this creature. easy. Hey, really? I can really tell the difference with the disable, disable the fog, or turn it on. I think the fog really adds to the atmosphere. I think that's enough of messing around. I'm trying to get the game to run a bit better. That makes the way to, I'm guessing, Torvis Bog. Read this. Oh, it's because I need a translator for it. That is why. Playing this is a adult really does make this. Makes this experience, uh, or you start to understand the the setting a bit more.
working out ready. The airs were a bit more memorable in one and two. Vendrana Drift Talon. Not so much Chozo Ruins. Strangely dislike that only way is through the use of force. Starfairy Brigade. Rest is well armed. Bioform trained for combat and constant. Town 4. Yet they remain the powerful force for crime and disorder in the galaxy. Continues to advance even at the lowly trooper has received numerous upgrades to his arsenal. Photonic power scythe, quantum assault cannon. Standard issue weapon for all troopers. They look pretty cool. I never, even, I never even took a quick good look at them. Risky, venomous insectoid, poison stinger, concealed in back mounted shell, finish it all quickly once the stinger is exposed. Acolyte Squire became a warrior when the served Agon for nearly a century cycle before being lost in battle on Dark Aether. I remember this. Yeah, I think that was like the only spot you can find shriek backs to scan. You think, you think Shriekbex would have gone, would have gone extinct by now?
I already found <laughs> almost half of the creatures in Aether. Alpha Sand Sticker. Water stunning bioform. Extremely well armored. Darkness will size to damage this creature. Pretty simple. <laughs> Ooh, yikes. I don't know what happened there. Let me just make a quick save here, just in case. There we go. <laughs> Let me see if going back to Let me see if this helps. I highly doubt it will. Did I scan him? No, I didn't. Darkling, enemies utilize your Morph Ball ball unit. Although its armor is strong, it still is exposed when moving. Its mouth can be hit when glowing. Generate Morph Ball Bombs. Can throw bombs with considerable accuracy and frequently lays a spread of bombs in its wake. Its head and tails are the only vulnerable spots on its body. Target them when they are vulnerable to neutralize and terminate this enemy. easy. Now imagine how this game is gonna run. 
Wind Waker. Still can do a double jump. I think I remember watching a video on why. Luminoth, like, why this doesn't make sense, but you can s Why does the Luminoth use some of the Chozo tech? Like, does it make sense? But they interacted with them and might have got inspirations to... Inspirations to use some of their ideas? cycles ago what is this welcome I am Shaw Aisha Sen of the Aegon temple this message survives my death as guidance to one who would fight the ink. Portal to Dark Gate there lies nearby. With it, you can travel to this land shadow. You must locate a dark temple, a twisted mockery of this sacred place. Inside you will find the energy controller you seek. Temple door is held as fast by three locks. The keys for the locks are hidden throughout the dark land. It'd be difficult, even the very air of Dark Aether is dangerous. It can also cripple the strongest of warriors. Astro's thing. He placed a series of light crystals throughout their worlds. They remain today. These crystals create safe areas that protect you from the harmful atmosphere of the dark world. You can access devices in Durko suit with amber holograms. More lands are open to explore. When you have taken the energy from the dark temple, return here at once. Light of Aether serve you well. Oh, I have to watch it again.
That's pretty good. Man. Fifteen missiles. Yeah, it looks like they made that like a uh, some quality of life changes to this game. I need a need to go the long way. What was that? Vigilant and strength, we create peace. Oh no. <laughs> Shroom says we should have read the room. But where are they? Just um, scroll down to the channel page info. Right, right below. Like chat rules.
Durable tree grew. Highly poisonous platform, durable tree with venomous leaves found on several worlds in desert climate? I mean, not really any. <laughs> just be, just be a good person in the chat. That's it. That's the rules, pretty much it. Just be a good person. It's really just that. Blue tree is common in worlds with desert regions while an elegant, attractive plant. Plants, the tree leaves are highly toxic. Few species can ingest leaves and live. Many of them, such as the space pirates, considered the deli bleak. A delicacy. What? Well, that's pretty interesting. No, I guess I would cons consider this my. I mean, I played this game before, but a long time ago as a kid, but playing this now as a adult. Blueberry trees come in the world with desert regions while an elegant attractive plant. The tree leaves are highly toxic. Few species can ingest the leaves. Wow, that is actually really interesting. As a kid, you pretty much don't even know what's going on with the lore. Getting really lost in this game. I mean, the game does have a does have a hint system. Um, does it? Yeah, it does. You can turn that on if you ever get lost. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm playing this on the emulator. And if the game suddenly starts to run pretty slow, that explains why. Holy shit, this place is big. Yeah, and this is the one thing I... What I... What I like about just playing it normally. Yeah, it's pretty nice and all going back and playing these games, but just doesn't run just doesn't run good properly. But hey, if the like I would have played this on the Wii Wii U trilogy, but I kind of want to wait until it hopefully gets released on the Nintendo Switch. I mean, I'm probably going to play the game again. You know, it's Metroid. But, like, wait a few... I mean, it's probably going to be a while, so... Probably be fine if I. Probably. <laughs> well, hopefully it does. That's all I used them. <laughs> well, 
hopefully it does get announced sooner or later. Paradise. Aether was fertile in its world with bountiful fields and oceans. Native creatures were gentle compared to other worlds. Counter. We settled in the mountain region at first, in the cliffside dwelling. In time, we established settlements in the green forest of Torvis. Tell Plains of Agon. A great temple was built between our three domains, a place of peace and a monument to our accomplishments. It was a time of harmony for our people. <laughs> I'm playing this with the GameCube controller. Well, if it never does, <laughs> I guess I'll just buy the... Mm, guess I'll just purchase it on the Wii U then. I mean, they're different, no, different controls. Nothing. Nothing really. <laughs> I mean, don't go <laughs> and don't go, uh, you know, believing those rumors. <sighs> Who knows? My I. <laughs> I mean, we have to hear. I mean, we have to hear something, or else the the popularity is just gonna go away. We're gonna get one. Oh, your mother got you into Metroid? <laughs> Sounds like a pretty cool mom. Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Q 
can't go this way. I can go that way. I can go that way. Sounds like pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool mom. They just <laughs> just like in the first game, where you're gonna take away all your items. Oh, yeah, mm, there's. Echoes, uh, one, three, fusion, it actually has been, uh, <laughs> actually has been the games. Desert climate. Plants require no moisture to survive, playing exclusively on solar energy or substance. Non natural planet streams was genetically engineered, possibly by the Luminoth. I guess in the next game they'll just take away all your items and you have to get it back. Pretty much, pretty much just summed up the, <laughs> the Legend of Zelda.
Dark Pipe. Dark Queen possesses space power and hand strength and stamina gained from the addition of size and biotic. This likes bright light. Pirate Sheep's already chained the followers without question. We're already perfect cannons for ink possession. Hang on. I remember that being a lot harder. Yeah, it's pretty important to have. A... It's actually good to have missiles. They're really good. Well, once you get the super missile. <laughs> Blight of Aether. Data transfer to your. The main energy controller was built in the Great Temple. Three silk controllers were built in the Temple of Torvus, Aegon, and Sanctuary. They collected the energy of Aether, and radiated over to the world to all who needed it. In time, we came to call this precious energy Light of Aether. Age of peace and prosperity to the Luminoth. What? That's a lot of cool stories. So far, the game has been running pretty good. <laughs> Should have been here when I started. <laughs> good thing there was a viewer that told me what to uh, make the game run a bit better. Yeah, I'm pretty sure <laughs> everyone left because the game was like running pretty bad. Remember that room being hard too? Yeah, a viewer told me. I'm thankful for him. <laughs> for him saying. What's the beeping for? I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's just supposed to build the tension. I don't think we're on a time limit. Herbivore. What was concussion blast?
As you search for food, field book can be jarred loose from a surface with the concussive blast. Doing so reveals its vulnerable belly. Hmm. Ah. I just <laughs> gonna gonna blind you guys. Dark Aether, here we go! Late Paw, Living Storage Units of the Yangor. Oh, what are these things? These are ing, but morph their body around useful items? Pretty, pretty cool info. Light portals allow living beings to travel to Ethan without being disrupted and scattered through the interdimensional void. They are unstable, however, only remain viable for limited periods of time. Some can be reactivated, while others vanish forever once they are used. Huh. Ooh, we're already at a quarter of a way for scans.
protection from Dark Aether's atmosphere. They can be nullified by dark energy and supercharged by light energy. Light beacons must be energized by beam weapon fire to function and remain charged for a limited time. Also unstable. They have to be energized periodically. And could run out of energy at critical moments. Still, any protection was better than none. The loom for the Luminoth warriors. Uh oh. Yikes. <laughs> Now it's pretty s the FPS dropped there a bit. More creatures. Inklet. We're controlling of the ink. Amorphous blobs? Oh, you probably hear, yeah. <laughs> uh, chat. Everyone hears the. Everyone hears a bird. <laughs> Everyone that's been in the chat before. Yeah, my. Since it's pretty hot outside, I have the windows open. And you can probably hear the birds chirping. I. Sometimes I don't even realize. <laughs> I realize it's that loud. You guys can hear it.
Where do we go? Warrior Ing, Soldiers of the Ying Horde. Shape Difting, Wall Crawler, Dangerous Combatant, and Melee at Range. Dislikes Bright Light. Well, of course. <laughs> Challenging foes can render themselves into amorphous puddles and move over most terrain, including walls. Warrior can turn their bodies into deadly projectiles sheathed in dark energy. Tips of their legs are razor sharp, making them formidable in melee. Trans-dimensional energy and firing at their enemies? That's a pretty big reach. Pretty cool. Lightbringer. How do these guys exist? Created by the Lumina for the. Oh, that's why. That's how. Like a safe stone crystal, they are immune to most weapon fire, only burst through matter. Antimatter can destroy them. Spider ball. <gasps> Space looks suspicious. Oh, my God. <laughs> Space powered by worrying, powerful metaphor with the hands, jump abilities, rolls of generate energy suck. If I remember correctly, spider balls like the. I remember where you get spider ball. Right by the. I think that's like the last area you explore. Sanctuary. Warrioring has absorbed the power of the space jump boots, can leap incredible distances and heights and uses stability. Great effect in battle. Target can generate power from shockwaves of dark energy and will sheath itself in a potent force field to protect itself. It cannot maintain the shield indefinitely. Concentrate weapon fire on it when the shield is down.
I still remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, well, maybe a... Well, maybe for games that I, I haven't played before. Or that I've never played before. I remember. Okay, for I can surprise you remember <laughs> a lot of things as a uh, a lot of things as a kid. Thanks so much for the follow anticipation. Really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, so for the spoiler thing, I don't really like it when I'm playing like a game that I've never played it before. I've had issues where someone in the chat I was playing a new game and they were just <laughs> I would immediately get to like a new area and they would immediately tear tell me where everything is. I mean, I would be sure to let you guys know about spoiler or er, about not not spoiling the game. Space jump boots. It's fine for this. I remember. <laughs> I'm surprised you remember a lot of things about this. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you have 420 of your chat. <laughs> Did not have 420 for the chat currency. Yes, I do. I probably remember like the major stuff, but not like the <sighs> like where to find some of the collectibles.
Well, <laughs> it's a super missile. <laughs> the super missiles are really good. Very powerful. And you should probably use them every so often. Often. Two shots. Pretty strong. I mean, it's the <laughs> it's the dark beam. Dark is weak against light, and light is weak against dark. <laughs> well, oh, wait, as a kid, I guess I can explain it. Only you shot it now. Go that way. Have to head this way. I remember the
I remember the Boost Guardian. Nope. All I hear is, all I hear is that the Boost Guardian is. <laughs> Boost Guardian is very difficult. Well, we'll just have to see about that. When I get there. Space Pirates. Made the theme sound cooler. <laughs> Devs couldn't beat it either. See when I get there. <laughs> hey, okay. Let the player figure it out. Hey, look how it turned out. over here <laughs> Bruce Guardian could have made at that point <sighs> getting past that point uh, unavoidable or you can't get past it oh devs just sucked I mean, well, they made the game. Not like I expect to be good at it. They probably spent more time making it than playing it.
Starborn terror burned through the heavens and struck Aether with an untold might. We all expect that the world to shatter, but Aether held there was great devastation. However, the green blades of Agon were scorched forever, and the forest of terror Wifers was engulfed and wrecked by the sea. The skies burned for days, casting darkness over the land. Is also pain, cause you're in Upgrade the literary no time to figure it out before the boss fight. Well, I don't remember how. <laughs> Let's just see how hard this game is. Well, I'm already kind of having a bit more difficult time here than in one. Scan. They really did make the space pirate theme cooler. <laughs> Plans for the straight purposes stolen from Gia. Fire team and troop present to action. The strike is unarmed, relying on the troops hit. Protection against hostile forces. Found in many spacefire bases, but to support the humility clash tr turret, many young spacefires begin their career as sentries. A mark of distinction.
can't go back into human or normal form. Dead. <laughs> Missile. I'm making a very big ruckus, ruckus below them, and they can't hear me. Ether, obscuring the Dasher system. Planet is unstable due to transdimensional flux. Warfare has devastated a good portion of the world's population. Finally, extreme climate shifts have left most of Ether uninhabited. Metroids Mining Expedition 3 dead, 2 injured, 1 missing action. Oh, here about another cool, cool stories. Cool story, Bob. Ba -ba -ba. Spatro anomaly have been found within our base. Believe this rift in space-time leads to a parallel dimension of some type. Unable to interact with it thus far, strange artifact was found near the anomaly as well. Maybe a weapon or a generator of some kind? Perhaps it is the key to unrest. Anomaly High Command is eager reports on the relic. A weapon for our arsenal is always welcome. Space pirates are power hungry. Contain the high level of phase on ore. It's interesting. Rift portals have been opened. Artifact weapons dubbed the Dark Beam by Science Team provides the energy so needed. Open the portal. No for a limited time, we send expeditions through the portal. They have returned with incredible news. The portal leads to a parallel version of Aether. This Dark Aether has suffered a global calamity, turning it into a toxic wasteland. Homeworld of the shadowly creatures who have been reading our base for the last cycle. Most importantly, it is prime location of Phazon. Sector. 
extraction plans are being prepared, we will not be denied. On the indigenous population of Aether, the planet is not at peace, nor are the inhabitants docile. Evidence of a class foreign conflict is present here, though. All souls are at minimal level now. Our territory has suffered several raids by a strange type of shadowy creatures. Zero damage, and we have requested more combat troops in response. Evaluate local phase on resources. Galactic Federation territory. God, I always love reading the lore. <laughs> On the way on our to get there, toxic atmosphere has taken toll on our workforce. Preparing a survival gear to protect our work teams, and we have increased our security presence in extraction areas. Fortunately, High Command is sending more troops and supplies. Our troops and resources are spread dangerously thin, and this mission cannot fail. Faison Fevers were reclaimed the face on its own and held us at gunpoint until security arrived. <laughs> Always well put together in that the crossings it were different in between the games. True. down cycle underway. Dark Hunter Class <laughs> A Class Platinum Triple A Threat
can't scan her. Dark Samus. Space fire encrypted data federation attack. Another disaster transport bringing our reinforcement and supplies has been shot down. It's engaged in orbit by a federation vessel. It just landed near the alien temple. It's only a matter of time before the marines attack. Survivors from our ship have been made their way to our base. Here we shall make our stand. Another enemy, first the Shadowlings, then the Dark Hunter, now the Galactic Federation Marine Corps. Faith will smile upon us before the world itself opens its maw and swallows us. Can't I fit there? We are at thirty three percent for scans. <laughs> Space pirates copy of carrier capture federation growler turrets but found the cannon unit inadequate. They replaced the growler's weapon with the powerful Gal galvanic accelerate cannon. Well, luckily they made it easier to... Made it easier to scan. Or er, to know what you scanned before. You're gonna... Huh, no problem. No problem, test participation. Good luck on your game. Leech of its bioenergy. Talon Metroid?
proceed to drain its life energy. This causes the creature to grow in size and mass. Vulnerable to the chilling effects of dark energy. It can be detached by entering Morph Ball and made deploying a bomb. Metroid's subject is heavily scared, wounds appear to be... Hmm. Um, Alright, makes these... Metroids... Makes it interesting, the... The lore... <laughs> Your good luck on me! Hey, blame the... Blame the player, not the... Not the game. Did the, the hunter? <laughs> Here, blame those nuts. <laughs> blame them all you want. Sudden arrival of the hunter is strange enough, but her reaction is stranger still. She does not seek our destruction, but our phase on. <laughs> That's not even her. Dark Samus. Indeed, they're probably like the Chozo. Space parts are scared of uh, or Samus or Ran. Arrow Trooper. Known for their cold precision and utter cruelty. Jetpacks can be overloaded with heat based attacks. However, these units prefer death before their dishonor. Injured arrow trooper will make a suicide strike before allowing himself to be captured. How the plasma beam was really good against them.
super missile. That work is good too. Source Rex computer to desired position. Very powerful indeed. They think the Dark Hunter is me, but it's not. Raise an energy tank. Three energy tanks. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good.
I wonder who we're gonna we're gonna meet here. a lot of damage. To base at will, her security has proven next to uses against her. Her least raised was disastrous. Not only did we lose more phase onto her, but she also crippled the stealth field generator with her strange new weapon. We are exposed until the replacement generator arrives. We will be vulnerable to scans and detection. Our presence here is still minimal. Should the Federation find us, we will be unable to defend our position, fortunately. Aether's on the fringe of Federation space with luck. We will have a spell stealth field back in effect before you are being detected. <laughs> you know, for a bunch of Pirates, they're pretty <laughs> they're pretty advanced. They have their own military. Nice. Well, he said not. <laughs> I have to get the boost ball. Um, <laughs> they're kind of just showing you a whole bunch of items. Items that you can't get now. You have to wait until later in the game.
That's weird. Can see her. Can see her feet. Scans indicate the presence of Phazon in your genetic material within this entity. She wears a version of the Varia suit, altered and augmented by Phazon within her. Primary weapons include the Missile Launcher and the Scattershot. Of the variant power beam, boost and jump abilities are superior to yours. The ability to generate phase on energy shield is also present. Easy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, the uh, emulator can't handle it. There you go. The fuck is game is just really. Just like, hey, here's a spot you can't go to. You have to wait a while. Dark beam.
Now oh, that's pretty cool. Shadow War. Local war has escalated intensely. The Shadowlings from Dark Aether have launched an offensive. Salt seems focused on Central. Network buildings atop a mountain. The base, perhaps strangely, this attack coincides with the rise in planetary instability. Perhaps these shadow creatures are using a new weapon system. The Shadowlings must believe us to be foes, for they have hit. Oh, come on. I was able to read it. Shadowlings must believe us to be foes. Numerous times of will, you're holding attribution. Wait and defend what is ours. Hmm. Pretty interesting. We're like at They think this was a cool. Why they think this was a cool, cool menu? Yeah, it is pretty cool, but <laughs> uh, this kind of feels a little congested. Like it doesn't look nice, nice and slick, sleek.
start being works like the works like the ice beam, and I guess the light beam is gonna work like the plasma beam. Right. I'm just gonna head towards the I'm just gonna head towards the safe station. Alright chat, I think that's about it for, for me for today. We did pretty good progress, we did quite a bit. I think this is a pretty good place to finish for today. <laughs> we managed to get the dark beam. And the game sort of ran pretty... Pretty good without any issues. Yeah, we'll pick this up tomorrow. Or, or some other day. <laughs> Thanks so much, each one of you guys, for always being here. Hope each one of you guys have a uh, wonderful day, afternoon, evening, or night. And if you're new and enjoyed your stay here, feel free to leave a follow too if you just want to keep up to date with the streams or anything else. Hope each one of you guys stay safe and well. And I will be seeing each one of you guys next time. Bye bye.